What are you doing, pig? And if you were hearing a weird clicking noise while you were driving around, that's not supposed to be there against the drive shaft between the um, between the bed of the truck and the, and the cab. All right, today, boys and girls, we are gonna make custom headlights, custom pop-ups, you know what I mean. Oh, geez, what did I, oh no, I need that. I think I need that. Yeah, I need that. Yeah, we're making custom pop-ups. Pop up to the height that I want. Shit. Here we go. So I guess the magic trick here is from what I've gathered anyway on the forums and on the like looking at the kits that change the angle. The piece that comes with the custom kit, the rotational points right here. Which obviously, if you think about it, this is at rest and then over here is all the way up. So if you just change the distance between these two, then that's going to change the height. And that's going to bring the height down. So that changes the height of the, the headlight, this distance here. And then you'll notice in the parts kits that you see online, there will be a adjustment lever. So this, you cut and you weld. That shortens the throw because, again, this is headlight up. Over here at total opposite would be headlight down so under that principle the distance between here and here we know obviously is stock so if this causes the headlight to go up what is it six eight inches whatever the headlight is stock then shortening that is going to put that fulcrum point right here over here which would be way closer you know down or whatever so with that in mind shortening this is going to lower the maximum height of the headlight and then putting in an adjustable point here is going to allow us to change where the headlight rests when it's closed because my idea is to have it where when the headlights are off the headlight will close to just a vented position the sleepy eye mod i guess everybody calls it and then when i turn the headlights on or i hit the switch on the dash that causes the headlights to come up they're going to come up probably about half or two-thirds maybe of what they originally came up to and stop for the aftermarket headlights to show and then again, when I turn it off or turn the switch off, I'm going to have it come down, but not all the way. It's going to stop at sleepy eye level. And uh, this is how you do it. So if you've done this correctly, make your adjusting rod like so. Pretty simple, should have this stuff laying around. And then make your actuator on the motor like so. There's just enough room to get the nut and the washer in here and then you slide it down and tighten it up. Ah, uh -huh. That will give you this. Here we go for the demonstration. At rest, I'm gonna have the LED strip in here on when the lights are off. If I turn the lights on or I hit the uh, on the dash, that's how high they go and as you can see two LEDs or maybe even a three LED stack by six wide is gonna be the winner for those probably use these as fogs or something and uh, yeah all right <laughs> 